Dulce Sintacha, from the time he arrived at the stable, was an absolutely outstanding individual from a confirmational and from a look standpoint. Every time the owners or veterinarians, farriers, uh, anyone that come in the barn saw the horse immediately, they would come and ask, well, what is this horse? Or the way that he trains, the horse is a really big moving horse and just uh, about all you could ask for and, and how a horse is supposed to look. Here's a horse that won his trial by a significant margin in the All-American but catches the wind, doesn't qualify, had the 11th fastest time. He comes back in the juvenile, gets away a little tardy, jumps up and runs second. Every race that he's had at Rio Dosa to that point, he's won, except the one he ran second in in the, in the juvenile. That's difficult for a two-year-old to win three in a row at Rio Dosa. Very impressive. Uh, Lucy Sintach, when he ran the trials of the Texas Classic Futurity, was just ultra impressive. The horse won by a significant amount of daylight, and even though the time was in the middle, the ease of which he did it was, was remarkable. It, he couldn't even have blown out a match candle after the, the trials. The horse just won really easy. Uh, Rodrigo said he had tons of horse left. He didn't really let the horse run that much. It was a very good stellar field. Of course, it was a very, very uh, nasty, cold, rainy night. Handled the slop and uh, all the circumstances really well. And he uh, he gave a, a win to the Gastons and myself that we're, um, you know, very appreciative of and, and, and be appreciative for the rest of our lives. You know, it was a very euphoric feeling. He gave us a, a thrill of a lifetime. Just on the run toward the outside, way on the outside, Dorset 